many of that people right there. Um, there's also some stuff about WFUV. We are the ones who bring you these Wednesday night shows. And they're going to be happening through the end of August between 6 and 8 on uh, Wednesday nights. Anyway, sit tight. The very lovely Laura Cantrell will be out shortly. Yeah. Twin Towers, presented by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, which is just over the river. Anyway, okay, so you see the, there's a big City Folk sign. That's because this is the City Folk Wednesday series. Oh my God, is that thing happening? Are you videotaping me? I'm very camera shy, please don't do that. <laughs> anyway, um, so if you like the music you hear here, you can hear music like this on 90.7 WFUV, and that's where I'm on the air at 9 o'clock at night. My name's Delphine Lindsay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, and you can find information about the radio station on that table, and you can buy CDs, Joe Flood CDs, and Laura's CD, which is called Not the Trembling Kind. Now, Laura Cantrell is originally from Nashville, which automatically makes her cool. She doesn't have to do anything else in life to be cool, because she's from Nashville, but she had to leave Nashville to play country music. And this is where she calls home. Uh, you may have heard her on WFMU, that's where I first met her. And um, I think her CD is terrific. So, please welcome Laura Cantrell. not the trimmer kind. Yeah. 
lay down here and have this vantage point on New York City. I hope you all are enjoying it, but it's really fun to stand on the stage and just be out here in the middle of the World Trade Center. At least it is for me. It's also really great to look out and see a bunch of friends' faces in the audience, and I want to thank everybody for stopping by tonight. I called somewhere some night. tonight and we want to thank WFUV for having us out. They have been really kind to us over the last few months playing, playing uh, Not the Trembling Kind, which was a, a record that we put out late last year. And um, it's really wonderful to see folks who have heard our music on the radio. And again, great to be here at the World Trade Center. We are currently working on a new record and have some new songs that we would like to play tonight. I'm going to send this one out to Michael down here. It's a new song. This one's called Wait. One to know that you were 
Jay, over here to my right, playing guitar tonight. We have also Doug Weigel on the drums. <laughs> they thought I was going to get confused. Mr. Jeremy Chatsky on the bass. He's already played another outdoor show today, so he's really schmitzing. And John Graybaugh, of course, on uh, everything that he could possibly carry out of his apartment.
Torturing each other, running around. I want to do a song for um, my mother in law who is visiting from Hawaii. It's Ellie Tepper. This is actually a song that um, was found, the lyrics of this song were found in the Woody Gar Gutty Guthrie archive, excuse me by um, Billy Bragg and the guys in Wilco when they were doing their uh, Woody Guthrie project the, called Mermaid Avenue. And they actually, uh, Wilco and Billy Bragg, wrote a really lovely tune to this set of lyrics before discovering that the lyrics actually did not belong to Woody Guthrie but to A.P. Carter. So they could not use it themselves for their project but they wrote a really lovely kind of updated folk song called When the Roses Bloom Again.
to work on some uh, some new recordings. This is one of the songs that we've worked on, but we have been playing it live for the last couple months, so for those of you who've seen us recently, we've probably heard it, but uh, for those of you who've never seen us before, this is a new song. It's called Too Late for Tonight. a really wonderful songwriter, used to be a neighbor of ours in Brooklyn, and she's recently moved to Nashville. But uh, she had a wonderful album out a few years ago called The Diary of a Mod Housewife. I know there are a lot of Brooklyn girls, housewife or not, uh, who related to that record. We're going to do a lovely song from it called Don't Break the Heart.
thank Amy Rigby for writing a great song. and Joe Flood, who you saw here tonight. <laughs> We're getting there. But uh, we actually went as far as Hamtramck, Michigan to find this next song. <laughs> You've been there. You grew up there? Sort of. Royal Oak, right? No. Anyway, this is a, a song that I discovered from a band called the Volbeats, who were um, from Michigan, and it was written by one of the members of that band, Mr. Bob McCready, and I, I think it's my favorite song from Not the Trembling Kind, it's called Two Seconds. Thank you. 
share the stage with Joe Flood, and I hope you guys enjoyed his set tonight. He's got a new record on the Diesel-only record label called Triplin' Crutch. Oh, I got a... And he wrote this song called The Pile of Woe, which I know they've been playing up at WFUV. We're real grateful. Thank you. 
good show. That's like you mean it. That's what Everybody, Lord, catch up. Ready, Lord? Yeah! Roll truck, roll! Roll truck, roll! Roll truck, roll! Lee Harvey! Lee Harvey! Lee Harvey. I think we should just play some more because it hasn't rained yet. And we're all dry except for uh, perspiration, which is good for you. We're going to do a lovely song again by one of these local songwriters who I'm such a fan of. Her name is Amy Allison. And she's written just about the best drinking song for a woman to sing that I know of. She's called The Whiskey Makes You Sweeter.
UV. Uh, who else? Our oh, friends at Diesel Only Records. All right, come back next week. Luna's here on Wednesday night. Uh, have a good night, everybody. Good. Yeah.